ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday afternoon, the 14th day of January, and the brutally cold air we've talked about for seemingly weeks here is knocking on the door. We're going to feel it tomorrow. Let's take a look out the window today. Not bad. A sunny sky today. We are looking at temperatures mostly in the upper 50s to near 60. There's a look at the sky over Livingston, coming from the campus of the University of West Alabama down in Sumter County. Here's our Demopolis sky cam. The mighty Tom Bigby still awfully high. The river peaked Monday. Now, levels are falling, and it should go, go below flood stage at some point this weekend. Of course, all the water goes down here, the Gulf of Mexico, and by golly, they could be close to 20 degrees on the Alabama Gulf Coast by Friday and Saturday morning. This is tough stuff. There's a look at the uh, setup in the upper air that is delivering the Arctic air. Big 588 ridge over the northern Pacific coast, pumping up the ridge to Alaska, tapping the air that they have been dealing with and now we will be dealing with. These are temperatures at uh, 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. Even at mid-afternoon, we're talking values around, what, 17 below zero up in uh, northern Minnesota. And uh, that air is going to be moving south and blowing in here tomorrow. Uh, wind chill values tomorrow near zero. By Friday morning, lows between 10 and 15 for most spots. And I think Saturday morning just as cold. And the colder valleys could hit the single digits across North Alabama, both Friday and Saturday morning. Watch warning map. Winter weather advisories up uh, from Des Moines all the way over to Pittsburgh. But uh, really the story up there is the uh, brutal cold like everybody will deal with over the east. And here's the QPF chart. This is valid through Monday morning of next week. And the guys at HPC have introduced that little sliver of uh, uh, one hundredth to one tenth of an inch across our state. That's for that impulse Sunday and Sunday evening. The moisture very limited. So, again, we don't expect it to amount to much. And, of course, the other question, will it be snowflakes or raindrops? We'll, we'll take a look at modeling here. This is the 12Z GFS valid at noon tomorrow. And, uh, yikes, that tells a story, doesn't it? It just speaks volumes, and so does that. A uh, 1,044 millibar high nosing in here. Fierce north winds will pick up, averaging 15 to 30. Uh, temperatures struggling to reach the mid-30s. Wind chill index values in the single digits may be reaching zero at times in Birmingham. Friday, the surface high near Memphis. The bottom should drop out. Lows between 10 and 15. Colder valleys hitting the single digits. And even Friday will be below freezing much of the day, but at least the wind won't be that bad and the sun will be in full force. And Saturday, again, early in the day, I will be way down there in the 10 to 15 degree range, most likely, and warming up into the 40s Saturday afternoon. Now, Sunday, here comes this feature. You can see that lobe coming down the backside of the trough. And we'll look at the surface chart. This is uh, midday Sunday at noon, and you can see the 540 thickness line near Birmingham. One possible rain-snow indicator, one of many, and a bit of sliver of moisture there, not much. Now, 6 o'clock Sunday evening... Uh, the deeper moisture a little to the south, and by golly, the 540 line is all the way down there to Montgomery. So we're still going to mention some risk of light rain or light snow Sunday. Don't think it's going to be a big deal. And then by midnight Sunday night, uh, most of that is moving over into Georgia where the moisture is deeper, and that could be more of a significant setup there, maybe for uh, even cities like Augusta and Atlanta and Macon and Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, but we are dry at that point. Monday looks dry and cold. That's still pretty cold right there. I'll tell you now, we got a lower numbers for uh, early next week. And uh, Tuesday, after a cold morning, we'll start to moderate. But I think we'll have a hard freeze both Monday and Tuesday morning as well. And Wednesday, we should go back up in the 50s as the whole pattern finally starts to relax a little bit. Out there at the end of the cycle on the 30th of January, more of a zonal flow across the nation. And it's cold up north, but the upper air winds will not allow it to move down in here. And that's to be expected with the North Atlantic Oscillation flipping positive out there at this point. No doubt the coldest days of the month will be tomorrow through the weekend for us. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television locally in Birmingham on ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock this evening. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.